Hi Scorpio, welcome to your January 2017 general monthly tarot scope reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I already shuffled all the cards and um, laid the spread just to save some time on camera. I will be using the golden tarot deck uh, this month for your reading. This was a Christmas gift to myself and so I thought new year, new month, new deck, why not? Plus it's beautiful for this time of year. As you know, uh, these readings will be a little bit shorter because I put um, a lot of my effort, a lot of my effort into uh, your year ahead forecast as well as your love scopes. Your love scopes are quarterly covering three months and then the year ahead forecasts are averaging about an hour and a half a piece per sign. Uh, so because I go through every single month with clarifying cards. So it's quite a lot of information. Um, I'm not done uploading all of them uh, or recording some of them even, so I'm going to be getting those done and up as they're completed. But I just wanted to let you know uh, that that's what's going on here. So it's definitely worth looking into if you're interested about what's coming in for the year for you. So let's take a look. Wow. Whoa. All right. Uh, for Scorpio, uh, for January 2017, and honestly... I mean, these cards couldn't be more fitting for a Scorpio. Um, <laughs> well, there's a lot of cards that couldn't be more fitting for a Scorpio, but this is some pretty profound change going on here. Um, okay, all three are swords energy, so there's a lot of mental stimulation, communication, new ideas coming in for you, information coming in for you. Definitely, um, wow, there's transformation coming in here. Let's just get right to it. Now, before I start, you could see these three cards as beginning, middle, and end for the month, or you could see them as just, you know, painting a picture, uh, you know, a story of the energies, um, because the energies are forever ebbing and flowing. There's no hard start or stop. Uh, so I just want you to keep that in mind. Some of you have already felt this in the month of December, and it's still going on in January. Others of you, this is happening this month, and it'll move in towards February. So everybody, the timing is going to be a little bit different. Two of Swords in the upright position. So you're definitely feeling stuck or you're feeling at an impasse about something. There's a stalemate somewhere in your life or a tense situation going on, either already or it's coming in into you know your life soon. So you're feeling deadlocked about something. You're unsure which way to go at this point. You can't decide about this situation or should I turn left, should I turn right? Maybe you have more than one option to consider as well. And because you don't have enough information right now or all of the missing puzzle pieces to the situation to make a solid decision, you're forced to kind of just stay put. You know what I mean? Stay put, don't do anything, lay low, uh, and, and wait for that clarification to come in for you so that you can decide you know, what to do from here, okay? So you're just gonna kind of be waiting it out until either the dust settles, the energy clears, new information comes in for you, or you know, somebody says or does something or you know, gives you a cue on what to do next. Um, Usually with this card in most tarot decks, the female is always depicted as blindfolded as well with the swords. In this particular deck, it does not. Uh, so this is indicating to me that you are not totally blind in this situation. I mean, obviously, that's a little self-explanatory, but usually it's depicting that not only is there a crossroads or a deadlock, or you know, just being at an impasse, but you just you can't see it all. Like something either came out of the blue, or sideswiped you, or surprised you. For some of you, the message here is that you kind of saw this coming. So whatever that means for you. Now this could be anywhere in your life, from your professional career, to your personal life, to your romantic relationships, to marriage and family, or even your family of origin. There was something that Scorpio had a feeling about. And you know what, I'm not surprised because Scorpio is an incredibly intuitive sign and psychic even, you know, they can feel stuff under the surface. They can feel the storm brewing from miles away, hours away, days away. You know what I mean? They can tell you when something is on the horizon and it's coming down the pike and most people wouldn't even pick up on that vibration. So this is very interesting. Then you have the three of swords in the upright position. So, you know, I'm sorry that uh, this wasn't in the reverse position for you, but 
you know, the Three of Swords is the Three of Swords. This is typically the card that talks about heartache, uh, sadness, bleeding heart, um, you know, just really stormy emotions. Something is upsetting you or has upset you or upset your life in some way. This card can also indicate personal loss and difficulties within relationships, quarrels, conflicts, um, not seeing eye to eye difference of opinion. So again, this can be anywhere in your life from your professional life to your personal life to romance, partnerships, marriage, family, and home, uh, or, you know, um, uh, friendships, uh, family of origin, that kind of thing as well. So for everybody, this is going to play out. Now, for some of you, this is going to be the clarity that comes in for you and helps you to see things for what they really are so that you are now able to make a decision. This is the, this is the clarifying moment. So something could be coming in for Scorpio that really is that missing puzzle piece where this card is concerned. Like maybe you had a hunch about something under the surface, you weren't sure, and then all of a sudden this card you know, brings it to pass. Now the evidence is there that yes, this confirms your hunch, and now you can make a decision. But you know, it's not without sadness, loss, and regret. There could even be blame, shame, and guilt. Now this is either on your part or on the other party's part, you know what I mean? Just because you're getting this card doesn't mean that you're going to be the one that's sad and down and out. There could be a decision that you make that leaves somebody else feeling sad and down and out. But you have to take care of yourself first and foremost. So if you are going to make a decision that you know is going to impact someone else or other people, you can't not make the decision and sacrifice yourself for the sake of sparing them from the sadness. You know what I mean? It's like everything, like I said, energy is always ebbing and flowing. Things are always, you know, coming and going. And life is a bunch of cycles. And, um, you know, we, we affect each other all the time. It's like a constant domino effect in our life with people around us. So, again, take care of yourself. And if you have to make a decision that ultimately ends a partnership, ends a, a negotiation, ends a contract, um, ends a work situation, uh, you know, and it, you feel like you're leaving your boss high and dry. You feel like you're leaving your spouse high and dry. You feel like you're, uh, you know, needing to walk away from people that have been close to you for a while just to get some space or you're backing out of a real estate deal because uh, you found out some history about the property that you know doesn't sit well with you, and so you feel bad about breaking the deal because uh, you were almost at the closing, but bada bing, bada boom, and so you just can't worry about the buyer. You know, what I mean, I'm sorry, the seller. They'll have to find somebody else. Um, this is about taking care of yourself. Now, if something happens where it hurts you, you were on the receiving end of this card. Then again, it's all about taking care of yourself. Um, you, you, you definitely knew that something was coming. So bracing yourself for it, you know, do the best that you can. Um, and again, nothing is written in stone either. There could be a decision that's made based on free will where this doesn't even transpire. So again, for everybody, it's going to be different. But, um, you know, if there's difficulties in relationships, some of you could, you know, just decide to ride it out. Others of you could decide to end it and move on. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, everybody's going to be different. This could be something with your immediate family, you know, your siblings. This could be stuff that came up over the holidays that's still kind of brewing under the surface and things need to be talked about to bury the hatchet or to, you know, um, end family drama. So like I said, I mean, work environment, family, home, career, I already said work environment, relationships, marriage, something even with your children too. Now, the interesting thing is, is that immediately following this, you have the Eight of Swords in the upright position. And in this card, you are blindfolded and you are absolutely deadlocked. You are blocked, obstacle, delay. You can't move. So this is not a great ending to your reading because this card is all about restriction, feeling trapped in a situation or circumstance, oppressive, suppressive environment, somebody else having all the power or pulling an ego trip on you. This is a card that can indicate um, lack of personal empowerment, feeling weak, not feeling like you have the ability to make a decision or leave or change the situation, absolutely feeling stuck in bondage, uh, and, and, 
you know, blockage, obstacle, delay. This can also be a card that indicates a vicious cycle. Like something just keeps going and going and going. You can't seem to get out of it. It's like the hamster wheel, okay? And or isolation. This could also be indicating for some of you that whatever comes in here, and upsets you or breaks your heart causes you to go into isolation causes you to kind of kind of drop out of life for a little bit because you have to lick your wounds and cry your tears um this can also be on the flip side too maybe the decision that you make is going to impact somebody in such a way that they kind of go into quote unquote hiding because they're emotional and and trying to deal with it um so, you know, it's just, this reading is, it's heavy. And, and you know, because of the cards that you have here, I'm going to pull some clarifying cards. Um, you're the only sign that I've done this for because everybody else, the three cards has been enough. It's painted enough of a picture that you got enough messages and it just felt very complete. But this reading has left Scorpio very open-ended and like, okay, well, that's not great news. So where does this leave us in January and or moving forward? These are smart, small deck of cards, so they can be difficult to bridge. But anyways, uh, can we get some clarification messages for Scorpio for the month of January 2017? Scorpio, two of swords, three of swords, eight of swords. You are loaded with sword energy. I mean, obviously. Um, and it's like... Obviously, I mean, as I said, air energy is mental stimulation, communication, new ideas, information coming in for you. Uh, but all of these swords, you know, some swords cards are very much green light, move ahead, um, building momentum, action steps, getting out of a rut, moving beyond something. Every single card you have here is talking about something holding you back, some kind of blow that comes in. Unless you're not on the receiving end of this, unless this is, you know, you're the one that's making a decision as a result of the information that comes in for you. Because again, it's about guarding yourself, taking care of yourself, saving yourself. Clarification cards for Scorpio, January 2017. Can we get some information on the Three of Swords? The Three of Swords card, upright position, heartache, uh, upset emotions, conflict with another, news and information that's coming in. What is the deal with the Three of Swords for Scorpio, January 2017? Three of Swords, Three of Swords, Scorpio, 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 January 2017. What does Scorpio need to know about the Three of Swords coming in for them? What does Scorpio need to know, be aware of, be on the lookout for? King of Pentacles reversed, flew out, flipped over. That's interesting. That's um, dealing with a difficult person for sure. Yep, five of cups reverse position. That says that that situation could be evening out or coming to an end, but there's something that's deadlocking you. This one flew out, fell on the floor, but was uh, right side up, so I'm just going to put it back in the deck here. Three of swords, three of swords. Scorpio, January 2017. Clarification cards for Scorpio on this heartache card. Cut the deck. The tower. Wow. King of Swords reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Six, damn, Wands reversed. Okay. It's going to be coming to an end. That is for sure. There is, uh, you know, this upheaval that has to come in in order for it to come up and come out. It's almost like it's got to blow up on some level for you so that it can be removed from your life. But every single card, it's like, okay, yeah, release from bondage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to take a rest. 
Yeah, reinventing yourself. Interesting. Wow. Jeez. Okay, yeah, this just confirms, just continues to confirm. I know I pulled a lot of cards, but I was just trying to get some more messages here. Uh, yeah, okay. So the three of um, swords, I'm going to go through these real quick. You have the king of pentacles in the reverse position. So, And you have a couple of cards here that's talking about dealing with difficult people. And for every Scorpio, this person or multiple people is going to be different, okay? This card indicates either a lack of business sense because it is a king, it's pentacles. So pentacles, obviously in a king position, is good business sense, you know, worldly, successful, been around the block, uh, established, etc. Just very smart in terms of business or, you know, worldly matters or making money. You know what I mean? So this could be a lack of business sense. This can be dealing with a man. It doesn't have to be a man, but it can be a woman with these characteristics in a general reading. But whomever this person is, they tend to be mean and vulgar and crude, or they might be grasping at straws. They don't want to take responsibility for their behavior. They're trying to put the blame on you. They're hot-headed and dishonest, okay? So this is around money. So I don't know if for some of you this is career and business or something in your work environment or your employment, dealing with a difficult coworker or a boss who's a jerk or somebody who's not giving you a raise or an advancement or uh, your, you know, your bonus or whatever. If you're an independent contractor, maybe you're not getting paid or you're dealing with another contractor or person or client who's difficult and they're all of a sudden just backing out of the deal. Others of you, if this is a marriage situation, this could be a spouse, whether man or woman, who is making it difficult for you to survive and thrive in the marriage or leave the marriage. You know, they, they hold the purse strings and they're just being difficult about it. Um, and, you know, or this could be business partnership or real estate or something like that. The five of cups in the reverse position is indicating typically that the pain in this situation is going to be coming to an end, okay? Hope will be renewed here. Um, and for some of you, it could be the revival of love even. Maybe it's a difficult patch in your marriage, but you guys are gonna work it out. Others of you, this is a revival of love for yourself because you're, de you're deciding to exit stage left out of a toxic situation and just moving on and saving yourself from it. You know what I mean? You're just drawing a boundary and deciding not to put up with abuse anymore. Um, so that is definitely going on here. Confidence will be increasing for you. New opportunity could be coming in for you and or even dealing constructively with emotional issues, but nonetheless, um, in terms of, you know, turning a corner in terms of, um, you know, something better coming in for you. Now there is an extreme message to the, to the, the five of cups that we typically don't talk about, not talk about, but you know, it's one of those things where it could go either way. The extreme negative aspect of this card in the reverse position is that there is an extreme ending coming in here. It's going to get worse before it gets better. So that might be for some of you, but it seems like for most of you that this is going to be, you know, turning itself around. You do have the tower card here, which is indicating... Absolutely, there's something here that has to break down and fall away. Uh, for some of you, this is a situation that's been hanging around too long. You've been avoiding taking that initial step to, to, make, to take the initiation to do it yourself. The universe is telling you that you can't stay here anymore. Uh, it, this is dead. It's done. It's outdated. You need to move on from it. Otherwise, you're going to stay stuck. So something comes in from universe, from spirit to force a change in your life so that you can be freed from something. The Knight of Swords in the reverse position. Lots of swords energy for you. This is talking about trouble in the air and you making a quick exit from a situation. Dealing with opposition, dealing with harsh harsh words from another person uh, and impulsive actions. And so you just decide to make a very quick decision to, to protect yourself, save yourself, and or exit the situation so that you're not continuing to put fuel on the fire. The seven of wands in the reverse position, you're feeling daunted by this situation. You're retreating from confrontation where this is concerned. You're feeling vulnerable and overwhelmed as a result of it. You feel like you might be at an inferior vantage point. So you're just not going to be like a sitting duck and allow yourself to stay there and, uh, you know, be in the line of fire, fire, so to speak. So, 
you could feel like you're running, you're fighting a losing battle or just feeling the need to take a step back because it's getting a little too, you know, dangerous or tumultuous. Six of uh, wands in the reverse position. There's victory about, there's something about this situation where you feel like victory is eluding you. You could feel defeated. You could feel like there's a delay or an obstacle or this thing has gotten worse before it's going to get better which is delaying the day. You know what I mean? Um, and you feeling like your rival is prevailing. You feel like somebody has the power and the control or they've got the upper hand and it's got it's left you with nothing to do but retreat. So that just confirms the previous card. But then you have the three of swords in the reverse position, which again is indicating that the pain in this situation is going to be ending. The worst is over. Okay, at some point regarding this, recovery is in the air. While the hurt lingers on for you, you're going to be able to pick yourself up and move on. Okay, um, whatever is going on here, the harshness of this situation is going to be lessening with time. Every day is going to get a little bit easier for you, and you're just going to be able to put one foot in front of the other and move on from it. So that's, you know, that's good. Try not to dwell on the past because when you do, you stay stuck there and you harbor that resentment and carry it forward with you. The hangman in the reverse position. Be careful here. This is useless sacrifice. This is false security, okay? So let's say for some of you, this is a marriage and you feel like, you know what? You wanna leave, but you can't leave because this marriage is all you got and it's your security and it's your foundation and it's your future. This is telling you that that's an illusion, okay? Same with those of you where this is a business partnership or something in your career or even in your family somewhere where you feel like maybe somebody has the upper hand and they make you feel like you won't, ever be able to survive without them. Yes, you can. You've got all the tools in the toolbox to step out and handle your business on your own re outside of them. Whether it's marriage, whether it's career, corporate in America, family, other people, someone's situation that has a tie on you, just be careful. You don't want to keep doing useless sacrifice, okay? Sacrificing yourself to stay in a situation to either please the other person, people, situation, corporate entity, whatever it is, uh, and, and, you know, try to, try to, uh, tough it out because obviously something here has turned toxic. And so Scorpio has got to take care of Scorpio emperor reverse, uh, um, uh, reverse position I almost said condition basically you know block development lack of progress with this situation moving forward but then you have the devil card this is saying you're going to be released from bondage this is saying that you are going to be released from this situation so with all of these cards in the reverse position I wouldn't force an outcome I wouldn't play your hand. I wouldn't be forceful or abrasive or abrupt or in your face or using intimidation. I would definitely take all of this as a sign to take a step back. Let the dust settle. Let the leaves, uh, chips fall where they may. I don't know why I said leaves. Let the chips fall where they may because there could be a situation here where the person that you're involved with is going to essentially hang themselves. You don't have to have a hand in that. If you take a step back, it probably will piss them off that you're not feeding energy into it or atten giving attention to it, and they'll just keep going and keep going and keep going basically until they smack into a wall, i.e. hang themselves. So just be patient because devil card reverse says released from bondage, released from oppression and suppression, getting out of even a self-imposed prison. Some of you have chosen to stay too long. It's time to choose to leave. Star card, reverse position, okay. Difficulty accepting help from others. There are people around you who have offered help, a shoulder to lean on, uh, financially, goods and services, um, whatever the case may be. You know, people are just there with a with an open an open door and wanting to do for you what they can to get, help get you through the situation. Get your pride out of the way, Scorpio, because I know you guys, you know, you guys are proud and you you don't you can do everything on your own and you're the Scorpio with the stinger and don't mess with me because I'll just sting you right in the ass and send you on your way. Well, you know, even sometimes a scorpion needs to uh, have assistance from his buddies, you know, down in the hole there. I, I don't know. Isn't that where scorpions live? Don't they like bury, burrow down in holes in the ground or something? Isn't that where they go? Anyways, you know, your buddies want to come over and hang out in your hole right? And uh, bring you some food or something. So start allowing others around you to, to help you. And or there might be other scorpions around you that are going to get their stingers out and go to battle for you. So that could be going on here as well. This is definitely indicating it's time for you to take a step back, take a rest. 
Self-love, self-care, self-nurture is the name of the game with this card. You are needing to recharge your batteries. You are needing to relax, renew, recuperate, recovery, retreat, relief, okay? This is a period of convalescence. This is a period of inactivity. It's time for you to withdraw so that you can regroup uh, and, and really just lick your wounds, heal your wounds, find your strength again. So when you step up and step back out, you are a rejuvenated you know, version of yourself that can handle ish. Eight of cups, reverse position. This is frustrating uh, because in the upright, it means um, moving on and walking away. In the reverse position, this is indicating the refusal to move on and or clinging to the past due to the fear of the unknown or avoiding personal growth and being in denial. So this is either you that is not wanting to move past the situation because of all those reasons I just said, or it's the person that you are involved with that is stunted in their growth and they're just gonna keep coming back around again and trying to poke a sleeping bear. So it's up to you whether you wanna to continue to let them back into your life again. Eight of Wands, reverse position, universe, I'm sorry, spirit is really driving it home that Scorpio is not to push any agenda right now. This is a card that definitely says back off, back off, back way off. Don't push an agenda, don't push an outcome, don't try to force your hand. Three of Pentacles, upright position. This is a positive card, good money card, but it does point towards the beneficial use of your personal talents, okay? Talents, skills, abilities, early stages of development and or accomplishment, first rewards for a job well done. This can also indicate new employment opportunities coming in for you, professional growth coming in for you, um, or just honing your talents, skills, and abilities and becoming an expert in whatever your craft is and then offering that to the world. So some of you might decide to step out in a way and you know and reinvent yourself uh, by doing something new career wise or starting a side hustle or a business on your own or even doing creative projects on the side some of you are going to be using creative projects as a form of therapy and healing to help you cope with the sadness of this situation others of you are also going to be diving into that it's self-discovery time because there's something that needs to be reborn from this situation you are going to be like the phoenix coming up out of the ashes here okay and and in order you know in in order for you to be able to be reborn and come out and fly high, you got to, you know, shed the old and that has to die away. The Knight of Cups in the reverse position. So I want you to be careful because this is the tricky dick card. So I don't know if it's this person that's going to be coming back around again, like I said, to poke a sleeping bear, to try to, you know, uh, get a rise out of you or do something to bother you or torment you or if this is somebody else but whatever or whoever this is it's the tricky dick card so illusions lies deceit embellished stories fantasy deception seduction even be careful because this is a card of manipulation there's going to be somebody that's going to try to pull one over on you or take you for a ride Okay, watch your heart at this time too, because if you are getting out of a relationship, don't jump into a new one just to fill a void or, um, you know what I mean? Uh, just fill a void, really, lick your wounds, uh, because it's just going to cause more confusion right now. Unless you're strong enough, Scorpio, to be able to set, compartmentalize and realize that this relationship is a rebound and or just sex or whatever it is that you're using them for, um, you know, you don't want to do it anyway, because it creates a new level of karmic cycle for you, okay? And you're just using somebody else in order to, you know, feel better or fill a void or as a relationship of convenience and it lets it lets the other person on so you know try to steer clear of that uh, but other than that if, if it's not you jumping into another relationship be careful of somebody coming in trying to take advantage of you okay business professional career this person coming back again it could be multiple people one person some of you already know who this person is others of you don't and when this person comes around after watching this video you're gonna be able to spot them from a mile away Knight of Pentacles, reverse position. So here we go. This is financial instability or dealing with somebody who is so greedy, money hungry. Um, and they, again, this could be attached to the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could come in and try to take you for a ride. Present something to you that's too good to be true. Enter this MLM business and, and invest $3,000 to get in my downline and I promise I'll make you rich. Or let's enter a business deal together 
and I'll do all the work. Or somebody comes along and plays on your broken emotions from your pre previous relationship and they pretend to love you and all that stuff and then they suck your bank account dry. So just be careful here. You don't wanna lose any money as a result of being emotionally wounded. Justice card, reverse position, all right? Being judged unfairly, unfair treatment, okay? Or suffering an injustice. Now, obviously, reverse card typically means that you are the one that's being treated unfairly by someone or some some situation. You are the one that is um, uh, uh, being judged uh, unfairly, right? Along with being treated unfairly um, or people aren't, you know, believing you or seeing you for what the situation really is or you suffered an injustice. This can also indicate delayed justice. So delayed justice in terms of those who trespassed against you, their karma coming back around. All right. So just give it time because it will happen. This can also indicate delayed justice in terms of legal matters. So some of you might actually be taking, a, you know, a, a, this situation to court or small claims court or whatever the case may be or dealing with a lawyer and it could just prove to be kind of long and whatever uh, but just know lay low okay because you don't want your fingerprints on trying to force justice to happen five of swords reverse position uh, vindication is coming in for you if you lay low and you keep your nose clean and you don't add to the karmic wheel by allowing your uh, ego and bent feelings to get the better of you you will be vindicated from this situation this is a card that says the end of malicious gossip is coming in for you whoever has been a bully is going to be revealed wherever there's been treachery there will be a light shown shined or shown on it okay the bully is going to be revealed you will be cleared of wrongdoing your name will be cleared people will see the truth and they'll see whoever it is that's been you know uh, trespassing against you and then you know and then that's when karma will start for that person okay the world's card reverse position stagnation there's unfinished business here so you 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 know it's just gonna take a while for things to come to a full culmination point um, and you could feel frustrated over this there could be loose ends tied up with this where you just want to be done with it and move on being stuck in a rut if there is loose ends regarding this this could just be anything from you know this person is your spouse and you're always going to have to be in communication with them because they're co-parenting the children loose ends here could be paperwork contracts uh legal agreements uh loose ends here could be something at work where there's a paper trail that's following you or uh i don't even know you know what i'm trying to say it's always going to be those one or two loose ends that make you feel like even though the majority of it is over it's still kind of open until those loose ends go away so just be patient because the world card will turn itself right side up and that will be the culmination point that you need to graduate from this bullshit situation and move on to a better chapter in life Queen of Pentacles, this is resourceful information. Either there's somebody in your corner that's going to be taking you under their wing and, you know, giving you good advice or even financial support or just giving you, uh, you know, or just pulling strings for you, making phone calls, making something happen. So that could be the case for some of you where this is kind of like your guardian angel coming in, pulling you out of the pit. Or... This is going to be you. And the Queen of Pentacles is all about practicality, practical manager, practical business sense, taking a sensible approach to matters that are on the table right now and moving forward. This is also a card that indicates having personal success in business and financial matters moving forward. A card of material abundance and your needs being met and income increasing. So look forward to that. Then you end this clarification with the Wheel of Fortune, which says lay low and have faith because the wheels of fate are going to be turning in your favor. Thank God this is upright. This is saying that relief is coming in, a change for the better is coming in, this situation will blow over somehow, some way, it'll be different for everybody, and you will see the relief from it, okay? But in the meantime, when this Three of Swords hits you, you're immediately going to feel blocked, and you might actually be blocked, especially based on some of these clarification cards, because if you are blocked, then it's physical blockages. Like I said, negotiations, contracts, legal fees, um, marriage issues, having to work out 
a divorce or uh, or alimony or the division of assets or co-parenting children and all of that. Others of you, you know, if it's not a divorce, maybe you're going to be staying in your marriage, but you, you got some stuff to work out with your partner where these cards are concerned. Absolutely. If you do decide to stay married and you work it out, it's looking like things are going to be improving. Others of you, if this is career, again, just take these messages and plug it into the area of your life where you know that this is struggling, where this is come, ringing true for you, and, uh, and you'll see how it's going to play out. Okay, let's move on quickly. This is getting long. You are special. There you go. This is from the Indigo Angel deck. So when, during times of doubt and uh, negative self-talk and feeling down in the pit and um, broken hearted and everything your angels and spirit guides and the good lord above wants you to know that you are special do not give up on yourself because this is a test this is a life lesson this is whatever's happening is necessary for you to learn something from it so that you can grow bigger and stronger move beyond it and create a better life as a result of it, you are special, you are here for a reason, and, um, and you are loved by God. So do not give up on yourself. Your spirit oracle message is love. Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. All right? Definitely, you're going to need to retreat and go into yourself. This is a time of self-discovery, self-development, getting back in touch deeply with who you are. And so it's not just letting love in, but self-love, self-care, self-nurture. You got to start listening to your heart so that you know where you want to go, what you want to do from here. Okay? And last but not least, manifestation power. There you are. Some of you, this could be a self-imposed prison. You have the power to walk out of it or walk away from it. Manifestation power. The world is your oyster. You are going to be given a clean slate and an open road to make new decisions and uh, choices and change the circumstance or the outcome of your life. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Some of you are light workers and healers. Get in touch with that. Okay, this might be happening as a result of spirit pushing you into the right direction. Don't forget the things that happen in our lives that cause upheaval are detours to get us on the right path. So some of you need to really pay attention to your heart so that you uh, um, align yourself with your life purpose. Okay, Scorpio, that's all I've got for you. Please write me. Let me know what you thought of this. Don't forget, sign up for our newsletter. You're not going to be in the loop if you aren't and you won't get your mid-month updates. Um, join us on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Check out the new reading schedule and calendar and prices. All of the links are in the description box below. Mwah, mwah. I wish you the best in January 2017 and we'll see you back here in February. Bye.